creativity. What a mess. Well, if you don't listen to it, it becomes a mess. A lot of people like to tap into it because they think that, oh, I'm going to make a profit out of this. When in fact, creativity doesn't care about profit. He just wants to be listened to. It wants to be loved. It, it, it's going to give you something in return. It may not be what you want, but you're still going to get something in return when you learn to love and listen to your creativity. Totally uncut because we will always say yes to creativity and unplugged because we all make mistakes. So why not turn it into a tool? This is Arrow Unplugged. Mm 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 mm. Sound like my grandma Dobrins today. Mm 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 mm. One look at this world out here, and you just go uh 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 uh. uh. Becoming part of a new day. I don't know about you, but but our bodies ache, right? Our minds are cluttered. And really, is there a way to get away from watching the flat screen TV? This binge watching thing is really consuming way too much time, right? There's word on the nearby horizon of a new rise in the COVID-19 cases here in the United States. Studies show it's because more and more people, they're not wearing the masks. And we're not going there. We're not going to have an argument. I'm just telling you what what research is showing. I mean, look at Shanghai, China right now. I mean, they are in the center of yet another huge lockdown. And this is going to poison the supply chain, which really, you know, hasn't recovered here in the States. Becoming part of a new day, digesting the present while letting go of the weight of yesterday. (sighs) Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Easier said than done, right? Because it seems like there was less worry before the pandemic until you stop to reflect. You've got to reflect. We are the gifted generation due 100% to those before us. And what are we sharing with tomorrow? I'm always asking that. What are you sharing with tomorrow? The focus needs to be on planting While becoming part of a new day, you got to know your seeds. Be a life farmer. Tend the soil. Are you feeding just yourself or are others involved? More than ever, we have got to meet right here in the present. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. Writing an instrument in my hand, and we are going to write about the present. It's about here we are. Now, what are you going to do about it? Tin the soil. Take care of the soil. And again, who are you trying to feed? Just yourself or are others involved? This is The Daily Mess. I'm new to this game, but can't help but wonder what sort of changes we as a generation and those that are going to follow us are, are, are actually facing. This thing called the metaverse. A network of 3D virtual worlds focused on social connections. I mean, research, because you know I like research. Research shows it's going to be the next big thing. Crucial for communications, marketing, and branding. Now, here's how I got involved with this. The school of broadcasting that I lecture at is stepping into the metaverse. Decision makers right now believe that the school can teach hands-on broadcasting to anyone at any time anywhere in the world now i'm not a doubter i'm not going to be one of those old timers that doesn't want to grow forward but i'm more concerned with the reality that comes to the metaverse when the virtual characters are set aside and the human being has to deal with the planet earth you know you got your hbo bill you got to pay you, you got to go to the grocery store you, you got to do this and this and this out here in the real world but oh everything's fine in the metaverse. I grasp the layout of this thing called the metaverse. Troubled though, by physically being. In the metaverse, you're not really there, but you are, but you're not, but you really, you know, it's a virtual world. If all you do, if all you do is run up to the digitized experience, what's going to happen to the authentic emotions and involvements when the electricity goes out? When there's no digital connection, how are we going to handle that? Can we do it? Technology has proven time and time again, it's not perfect. And it's never going to be. The metaverse. Where are we growing forward? I think that podcasting is a form of the metaverse in the way of bringing conversation to you anytime you want that escape from the real world. 
And what happens when your favorite show, such as a Mark Marin or a Joe Rogan or a big murder mystery podcast, when it comes to an end, what happens to your emotions? Those are so tiny compared to where you're going to be in the metaverse if all you have to do is put on the, the goggles and step into a world that is created by AIs. Your emotions will still be there. You'll still get that little sickness if you move too quickly. You're going to be in a second world. But who are you going to be in this world? Why can't we learn together now so we can prepare for a safer metaverse and the journey back to reality? I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mass.